Hello all and welcome to a onset of snowy Monday, November 15th, 2021. So in this video you are going to hear sound samples of the 2013 last year production Fender Blacktop HH Stratocaster that I received in trade uh, on Sunday. Sorry, Saturday afternoon. Uh, I finally got to play it today. And uh, first I'm going to uh, give you sound samples. Thread played through again. My dual mic setup into my Behringer Euphoria HD 404. Uh, what you're hearing is stereo 2.1 sound. That is what I've been recording in the last uh, probably three or four videos uh, since I had to reset up my OBS. So dual mics, stereo 2.1 sound. So headphones are probably a nice option. Uh, again, going coming out of the Harley Benton 2x12. And is again being powered by the Marshall Origin 20 at full level. EQ settings are Triple Lucky 7 across, presence at about 2. And I will be utilizing during the, the sound part of this, the actual clean sound from the amp. You will be hearing also at points in times the mod tone flex distortion, distortion, as well as the Alray FX Lucha Fuzz. You're also going to hear the Jimmy vibe in the vibe mode that's in the effects loop, as well as the kind of digital reverb pedal that again. Ben Combs was nice enough to, uh, sorry, Ben Coombs, Coombs, was nice enough to uh, help me with. So with that said, the guitar did not come with its wiggle stick, so there will be no wiggle stick action in the sound samples. The guitar in question will be tuned as my usual. E flat again repeated notes and chords will be used yeah 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 but when you're trying to give consistency on how something sounds you need to try to play the same things over and over again on a guitar so that people can hear the difference well those of you that actually do have good hearing as you know 80% of the population doesn't have great tone capacity in their ears. So, uh, that said, E flat. Um, I just go through some clean, dirty, and fuzz sounds, some reverb, and again, the vibe mode on the Jimmy vibe mixed in on the clean and distorted tones. Uh, again, go through the positions of the guitar, which I will again explain verbally. Position one, full humbucker. Position two, outer coils of each humbucker. Position three, both humbuckers full. Position four. Sorry, I, I screwed that up. But uh, position four is actually the two outer coils of the humbuckers. Position two is the two inner coils of the humbuckers. There is a substantial difference there. And again, position five, the full humbucker. Uh, once you hear the sound samples, I will give you a little summary of my thoughts my initial thoughts on playing this guitar and uh, any pluses or minus of it. 
Um, so with that said, here's the sound samples and uh, let's go. Thank you. 
So now that the sound samples are over, uh, come to the summary of the guitar. This guitar is slightly heavier than my other Made in Mexico parts throw together job. Conditions of it good. Uh, again, people probably don't like the idea of the fact that I would look at possibly modding a last year this blacktop and getting rid of the humbuckers, but quite honestly, why do I need a Stratocaster with humbuckers? I have the P90 Harley Benton LP style. I have the Tanglewood with humbuckers as is. So I already have three instruments with humbuckers. I have one Strat with three single coils that will become a mod project, which I do happen to have uh, some things going for. And again, the purpose of me getting this guitar was to make it my main playing guitar to have a set of single coils in it that will allow some versi versatility to it. So I think I'm going to be going with a probably uh, Jeff Healy, David Gilmore vibe with this. So probably looking at another um, black three-ply pick guard with three single coils in it. Single coils to yet do to be determined, but I do plan on black being the single coils. Maybe white, depending on what the market dictates, because um, I'm going to be definitely buying those out of my own pocket again with funds I try to get in sale of existing parts. With that said, do I like the humbucker um, wiring scheme on this? Mm. On a Stratocaster? No. Uh, but in regards to, say, like uh, Ben Combs made in Mexico HH Telecaster, yes, I think it's definitely a more viable set of tones and sounds for a Telecaster than it is a Stratocaster. People, again, don't like the idea of, you know, well, you, you, don't, you don't put humbuckers or you don't put other kind of pickups in, in a Stratocaster body. And it's like, hmm. I mean, HSH does work not bad with the right pickups. And uh, SSH also works with the right combination of pickups and does sound decent in guitars. HH, I just can't see HH. Uh, the Noventas with the, with the dual P90s, that works though because they are kind of single coil light. Humbuckers, uh, two humbuckers and a Strat like this, not so much, I don't think. Like I said, the towns and the tones in regard to actually this guitar, not so great. Um, I did pull off some some decent kind of tones and sounds though out of the sound samples you have gone through, but overall, this guitar definitely needs single. Uh, beyond that, this is definitely a um, higher grade made in Mexico Stratocaster. Again, uh, I believe it's a 2000, I believe it's a 2013, but it could be wrong. It could be the second last year because they only did these for three years. Uh, the body is nice. The trim, I can't honestly say much about the trim other than it is the stock default made in Mexico thicker die cast block one. So 
this guitar as a whole has pretty good sustain, I think, as you could see in some of the uh, tone samples I did. The neck, the neck is actually quite comfortable. I do think there's a little bit of fret spurt going on. And I think there's a little too much poly or urethane or whatever it is on this. So probably a taking back of or using a fine grain sandpaper to, to maybe make it a slight bit thinner and a slight bit slicker would be good. But when I played the guitar, it felt really comfortable in my hands. It felt good against my body. So, you know, that's basically what you want in a guitar, let alone a Stratocaster, is that it feels comfortable. So... With that said, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.